Looks like we'll be witnessing the birth of a new duo, since it's been reported that Top Gun Mavericks Glenn Powell and Bridgerton's Reggae Jean Page are combining abs, forces, for a new Amazon show. So what is this new project that the actors are attached to? Find out all about this and more in today's video. So keep watching if you don't want to miss out. In recent news, Top Gun Mavericks Glenn Powell and Bridgerton's Reggae Jean Page are out to make things hotter with their new Amazon show. Top Gun Mavericks Glenn Powell and Reggae Jean Page of Bridgerton may not appear to have much in common at first glance. They both play significant roles in global franchises, are engaging and entertaining to watch both on and off screen, and are unquestionably eye candy for viewers. So it goes without saying that the news that Powell and Page are collaborating on a new streaming series to play the legendary film duo Butch Cassidy and the Sun Dance Kid would excite zillions of people with Amazon Prime subscriptions. Keep your fingers crossed for the foreseeable future, as this really exciting project is still in its early stages. But the presently untitled Butch and Sundance project received a straight-to-series order from Amazon Studios, beating out both Disney Plus and Peacock, according to THR. Currently, the plan is for Reggae Jean Page to play Butch Cassidy, the outlaw gang leader who used the alias Robert Leroy Parker to rob trains in real life and Glenn Powell to play the Sundance Kid, who goes by Harry Alonzo Longabao. The directors of the reasonably well-liked Netflix sci-fi thriller The Gray Man, Anthony and Joe Russo, who are executive producers and spearheading this reinvention, and were also directly in charge of the aforementioned casting decision, will reunite with Paige on the new program. Although Powell hasn't previously collaborated with the Russos, their production company, AGBO, reportedly tried to secure the Scream Queen's veterans hiring since they all genuinely enjoy his work. As soon as the two actors had secured their positions behind the camera, AGBO hired the Eternals co-screenwriters Kaz and Ryan Furbo to write the story for Butch and Sundance. Despite the lack of a definite director, it is important to note that Paige and Powell will both receive executive producer credits for the new program and take part in the development in some way. According to current speculation, the show will approach the character's reality from another universe. Much like other revisionist literature, like the previous Amazon project, The Man in the High Castle. Glenn Powell, who was the subject of speculations that he was being courted to portray X-Men leader Cyclops for the mutant squad eventually breaking into the MCU, may now be the subject of additional Marvel rumors as a result of this casting news. Although the actor has denied having any such startling chats, his close association with the producers of the Avengers movies and the co-authors of Eternals won't stop people from becoming curious in the future. Nobody would argue that the two actors have a significant uphill battle to overcome to reintroduce Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid to audiences. Robert Redford and Paul Newman featured in the original 1969 Western, directed by George Roy Hill, which has received numerous honors over the years, including Oscar nominations and inclusion in the National Film Registry, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves, starring Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez, is Paige's next project, and it taps into a distinct subculture of pop culture fans. Powell previously agreed to co-write and star in the still-in-production action drama Hitman, directed by Richard Linklater. There is currently no release date set for the untitled Butch and Sundance series, and it is unknown how many episodes will make up the first season. But our 2022 TV premiere schedule is a quick way to find out everything that will be making its television debut, even though there are many other fantastic Prime Video series that are already available to stream. For some, this might signal the age of Glenn Powell's domination, but from our perspective, it's long overdue. It's better late than never, right? So finally, here's Glenn Powell finally getting the credit he deserves. According to a running joke on Twitter, Glenn Powell's parents have seen Top Gun Maverick in theaters a total of 14 times since they are so happy that their son is now appearing there. Powell tweeted that his parents are going bankrupt because of this movie, but it's all in good fun. Powell portrays Lieutenant Jake
Nick Sorensen, well known by his call sign Hangman, a haughty pilot who gets into a fight with Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, who is portrayed by Miles Teller. Top Gun Maverick has outperformed Avengers Infinity War in terms of box office revenue and is now the sixth highest grossing film in American history. But did you know Powell almost turned down the role because he didn't like how his character was written? Glenn Powell's performance as Hangman was excellent, but according to MSN, Powell wasn't quite delighted with the character's idea. Powell commented on the original draft of the script and criticized the lack of character growth in Hangman, the role of a pilot who lacked empathy and at least didn't make peace with Rooster at the end of the movie didn't excite the actor too much. Powell consented to star in the movie after the film's screenwriter, Christopher McQuarrie, revised Hangman's character and made some significant changes, which is fantastic because Top Gun Maverick has actually given Powell the stardom he deserved for years. Before Top Gun, Powell was already gaining traction in Ryan Murphy's Scream Queens. After running on Fox for two seasons, this slasher slash comedy series gained cult status because of Powell, who carried the situations he was in with his impeccable comedic timing and tone. The author of a funny bustle piece points out that Chad Radwell's character was both adored and despised at the same time, drawing attention from viewers with his one-liners and showy attire. After just two seasons, the show was regretfully canceled, leaving viewers missing Powell's boisterous demeanor on their televisions every week. Powell's celebrity had already begun to build within the program. Radwell was portrayed more as a person who has had a silver spoon in his mouth since birth and wasn't ashamed to tell people that as a himbo, a phrase used for foolish or dumb male characters. After the sitcom finished, Powell's career began to soar when he was cast as Finnegan in Everybody Wants Some, also John Glenn in the film Hidden Figures, particularly in Hidden Figures when he portrays the third man in space in real life. Both movies are incredibly convincing. Before landing the biggest movie of his career, Top Gun Maverick, he provided his voice for the children's program Jurassic World, Camp Cretaceous. Powell has demonstrated his ability to play a variety of roles that need him to wear a uniform, whether he's playing a lieutenant or a sergeant. Despite the stellar ensemble of Scream Queens, which also included Emma Roberts, Kiki Palmer, and Jamie Lee Curtis, Powell managed to hold his own and emerge as one of the show's most memorable characters. Many Top Gun Maverick fans expressed their dismay at learning Chad Radwell was in the movie on Twitter after it was released. As much as we're delighted to see Powell in these roles, the actor needs more recognition. It's simple to assert that a white actor in his 30s who recently appeared in the largest film in history doesn't require assistance. That may be the case, but it's a terrible situation that can be resolved when actors aren't valued highly enough or acknowledged for their diverse talents. Consider Leonardo DiCaprio, a renowned actor with several illustrious performances under his belt, who only has one Oscar to show for it. If Powell keeps getting cast in significant roles and wins awards for his work, he'll be on a steady path to actually having something major. In the upcoming X-Men films, Powell was believed to be cast as Cyclops, but he promptly shot it down, saying he hasn't heard anything from anyone about playing the famous laser-eyed character. Powell co-starred with Zoe Deutsch in the Netflix romantic comedy Set It Up in 2018, and it received rave reviews from critics, viewers, and enthusiasts of the genre. Powell and Deutsch had great chemistry together and were adept at playing the cliched roles of lovers, good friends, and mild enemies. The movie's gradual build-up was what truly made it stand out from what Netflix was producing at the time and made it appealing to viewers who appreciate slower romantic movies but still like to guess how things will turn out. With his first ever film credit as the long fi-
the boy in Spy Kids 3D Game Over. Powell demonstrates in this movie that he's more than just a forgettable minor character. Charlie Young, played by Powell, is endearing and silly, making spectators swoon for him just as he swoons for Harper Moore, played by Deutsch. Glenn Powell needs and deserves more lead roles in his future films, particularly more rom-coms, as demonstrated by the success of Set It Up on Netflix. We are curious as to whether Powell will be the next Leonardo DiCaprio, since it is intriguing to see where his career will go and where it can take him in terms of awards. And on that note, we'll be wrapping up today's video. So what do you think? Are you excited about these two actors' future projects, especially now that we're seeing the dawn of Glenn Powell's era, perhaps? Let us know in the comment section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.